Okay, here's my mom, Irene, and she's going to make uh, mushroom El, El, Far. El Forno and homemade gnocchi. And she learned how from her mother, who was born in Italy and made this stuff all the dang time. And Tony, come on, let's take a This is, and this is Nana's grandson, Tony. He's my nephew. He's going to be the sous chef today, once again. So, Nana, um, let's go ahead and get started on the... Um, Mushroom El, El, Forno. El Forno. Right now I have four large uh, cloves of garlic, fresh garlic, and I'm going to crush them just like that, and then it makes it very easy to cut them up and put them into the mushrooms when I'm ready. Well, always, these stories always start with garlic. I don't get it. No, Chapter that's, one. That's what makes yeah. them good. <laughs> Vitamin G. Now, I remember when I was little that your hands smelled like garlic. Well, I, I, probably I used it for hand lotion. Well, I don't know about that. I think you were just cooking a lot. Because <laughs> mushrooms cook pretty fast. So you're cutting them up? Mm-hmm. What size were those mushrooms to start with, just out of curiosity? Show us one that kind of shows. About that size. Okay, and so you're choosing to cut them in half, okay. Yeah. yeah. And some of them I don't cut in half because they are small enough. And did you wash them good with? I cleaned them with a dry or damp towel. I think that was about eight ounces of mushroom, fresh mushrooms, whole mushrooms. Okay, so now? Oh. Now I have four cloves, large cloves of garlic chopped up and peeled. And you just spread it right on there. You just spread it on there. It'll eventually go down. I put some oil on now, and I will after I dress the top of the mushrooms. Fresh parsley. Okay. A little dash of black pepper. A little dash of salt. Mm-hmm. What? It, so now breadcrumbs. And About what was the a, cheese before? What well, kind? No, just... I'm going to eat, finish it with cheese. What kind of cheese? Parmesan, ground Parmesan cheese. All right. Oh, and now you dose it up with more oil. Yeah, and then it'll create a, a nice crust. See, that's important, like the oil in the spaghetti sauce. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The next step, we put it in an oven at 350. Put it down to 350. It's just fine. So 350 for about how long? Half hour or so. Okay. Fresh eggs, and so. Describe what we're doing here now. Mama. I'm removing the potato insides out of the skin. They're baked potatoes. They were baked for a good hour and 15 minutes at least. And they are a medium sized russet. Easier to make into dough because they're not as moisture. They're a little drier. All right. How many potatoes was that? Four medium size. Okay. This is a ricer. But no rice. No, but it's called a ricer because when it comes out, it looks. Oh, yeah. You're tougher than I thought. You need me to squeeze yeah. that? I can't. Well, I gotta do something here. Now you're putting it to her. Put your back into it, Nana. I don't think you'd want to be doing this too much. Why? Kind of tough. Okay, now we take two eggs, and I'm going to use the yolks because I've never made them without, so I better not. Four potatoes, two eggs. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Three cups of flour, approximately, depending on the size of the egg. Sometimes if the eggs are bigger, they require more flour. 
All right, okay. so this is four spuds, two eggs, and three cups of flour. Yes. And you're going to put the spuds in there. Okay. Got a little bit of peel there. Oh. But just flour and potatoes right now. That's, that's right. Have. Okay. And then eggs, and that's right. it. This is the important part. Closely. And yeah, some recipes sure say everything. a dash of salt, and it's really not really significant, but since it says so, we'll do it. I've seen some on some videos they use a pastry cutter to do what she's doing there. So it doesn't Well, you know, me. get my pastry cutter in that second drawer down. What right the heck? On. Right on, Charlie. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, yeah. You is a smart boy. Well, he was raised right. Mm. right. This thing is really neat. Work here. It, making no cheese is no easy work. Why would people do it? Because it tastes so good, I guess. And sometimes you get bored and you got to do something, you know. I hear you. Yeah. Are you bored right now? No. Okay. Also, why do you, okay, you're pouring it just in the middle. Mm-hmm. And that's what you're supposed to do and work the flour and, and potato towards the center all the time. And I may need more flour, I don't know, but. Really? Yeah. I think I will. You no, mean, I mean more egg. Oh, I see. Okay, that's how you juice it up is with more egg if you mm -hmm. need it. Till I get a dough that will <laughs> stick right. together, you know, and can be rolled out too. So your variable is you can always add yeah. a little flour, you can always add a little egg. Definitely. Well, by the time you get that all mixed up and stuff, it might be just right. I mean, I'm no chef or anything. Well. I'm going to have to go to the board in a little bit here. What's that mean? Oh, the, oh, the... I thought she meant the board of directors. Yeah, or some, something more official than just Here's a piece the board of, of wood. directors. They're standing right by me. Now I'm going to have to start the kneading process. This will oh, tell all us. I need is a We won't need any more egg, that's for sure. We, we may need more really? flour. Really? Yeah, we may need more flour. We don't know yet. Nobody wow. knows. How, does it, how are people supposed to know? See it's, see, it's sticky. And it can't be sticky when you're going to try to roll it out. How? Okay. Have you ever it's, made this and it didn't turn out? No. It's like, basically, I think it's a lot like making bread. You know, making the, making the dough. I can see that. You gotta have a feel for it, though. No? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's an art. You get so you know it. And it takes a while. It's going to be about right? Maybe. If anything, it might be a little wet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See? Yeah. How it's still kind of sticky. Well, you can just throw a little flour on there, That's right? That's what I'll be doing. Otherwise, it will stick to the uh, rolling pin, right? Yeah. And then they might stick together, too. No, we don't want that. I vote no on that. See, and you roll it just like you would bread dough. This is how you do that. That's a certain amount of exercise. If you're doing a great big loaf. Mm -hmm. I bet Grandma had pretty strong arms. It's hard. Because she used to have a roll of dough about like that. It's just, it would just fit through the oven door. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, whatever. And some 
the, those recipes in that thing that I read today that you got, Charlie. Mm -hmm. They uh, roll out doll, dolls, you know, and mm -hmm. cut them. Yeah. Oh, you mean in a choo-choo kind of? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I I found out some different. I'm going to show you what I do. And it's quicker. Well, time's money. Hey, I know what you're doing, and it's smart. I mean, why go through all of that, roll it oh, up, and then God. flatten it out? It took me forever. Yeah, these are labor-intensive little dead devils. I just go like this. Right. There's your gnocchis. Mm-hmm. So they're curled. Yeah, they're a little bit hollow, and the sauce get in that gets in there, you know, that's, that's in that hollow. Right there, that is. That dough is a little bit sticky, but it's okay. Sometimes you make them too big and too little. You make it look easy. Well, it's time consuming, but it, it's not hard. Can I try a couple? Sure, you can. Not yeah, can. that's I what I thought. Go ahead. I just want to see, see if you can. I, I don't know. So oh, I'm sure you can. Wait, Tony, let me get the push paper. Push hard. Okay. Maybe right. pushed a little bit too hard. <laughs> really no good. Yeah, that was just right, but the piece was not here. Hey, that's nice, that's, Tony. That one's okay. That's little baby taco. That one's really nice. This one's good. Oh, by God, I think he's got it. She's going to make me do it again. It's genetic. It's hereditary. This one, I got one good one out of that. That really that is. Okay. How's this looking in the oven in the meantime? Brown. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that's got it. Yeah. Well, they don't have to cook till they're bushy, but... No, but we want them to get browner than that, I think. Yeah. They're just yeah, barely just brown. On top. Yes. So, Nan, why is it, when you say when you're bored, how can you... I mean, I know you say you use cooking as your release, mm -hmm. but how does it work? What do you have to do in your head to make that work? To make... To get bored? Well, no, to get out of it. To get out of it? I... I take a, a drink of Snapple, and then I uh, come out in the kitchen and I make some dough, cinnamon rolls or something that's time consuming, and that's uh, productive, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and then after, that, that, afterwards I think, gee, I did something and I achieved something. Yeah. Cause Plus we get good food and junk, but I mean, I'm taking, everybody's happy. Some people to relax, they have to be pounding on somebody. I wish more people could cook for their well. I uh, vodka. I'm yes. taking medication for depression and all that, but you know what? It don't work for sure. Really? No. No. How do you know? Because it don't work. If I get up off my butt and get out here and do something and make a big mess in the kitchen, it makes me feel better. That's your antidepressant, this flour. Yeah. Amen. No bigger than that, Tone. Okay. It's a trick. One at a time. Why? Because they'll stick together. Is it okay if I... Go, let's do it. Let's do it. We'll do it. The whole batch can go in. How do you know when the dang things are done? They quit when they come to the top. Oh. How do you really say it? Is it nochi? Gnocchi. Say it again. Gnocchi. Gnocchi? Mm -hmm. Once I heard somebody say something like gnocco, kind of. Well, gnocco, somebody probably goofing off, you know. I think it was you.
Maybe I'm mistaken. I don't know. You gotta move fast, you know. In the kitchen or everywhere? Everywhere, yeah. You can't be half-assed. No. We know that. <laughs> oh, that's okay. You don't have to do that. Okay. You want me to rinse them cold or anything? Oh no, but wait till they get a little yeah. dry, you know. No. So non, what are you what are you doing there now? You're putting some pesto. Where'd you get the pesto? I made it out of fresh basil leaves and pure olive oil, parmesan cheese, and a lot of garlic. Yeah, and some nuts. And some almonds, slivered oh, almonds. Almonds. Almonds, pie, pine nuts are too expensive anymore, oh. aren't they? Forget about it. I quit buying them. Well, pour half of them in here. Oh, I know. You're going to layer it up like you do. Yeah. Right? She's a pro. This is I know a, it does make a difference, yeah, doesn't it? This is a this is a pro grade move, right? Here. It makes the um the dish seem like a work of art because it is. You want to do it all? Yeah, you want to leave this all. without pesto? No, we're just doing it. So all right, can... we're doing it. All right. When somebody invents a camera that can smell, it's really going to be big. Smell cam. Smell cam. That was another pro move right there. What's that? Put the Nokia back in there to get the Oh, yeah. Back. Oh, yes, yes. Might as well get it all, Tony. Thrifty. Now, does Snapple make you feel different when you drink it? It's kind of like a, like a, there's glasses on the table, honey. It's kind of like what? Like a, an upper. Really? Yeah. It makes me feel good. Just put some on there just now. Yeah, a little Parmesan sprinkle. Okay, Tony, here it goes. Honey. Color is important, isn't it? Oh, very much so. And well, where even... you put it, it's like when you put that last piece of parsley on that plate of pasta you made last week, it changed that makes the a world. Dish. Yeah. It did. It's like Picasso saying, now it is done. Okay, now you can. You know mm. that pineapple drink that Robbie brought over? Pineapple. She brought me several drinks of that that you bought at the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It is delicious. You like? Oh. oh I'll get you some more. Does That's anybody the want the salt and pepper? Mm. Not me. You can... No, I don't need anything. I can die today. Well, the... <laughs> Those mushrooms mm. really are special. Mm. Thank you, Nala. It's amazing. Oh, you're mm. welcome. I'm glad you came. Gosh. Mm. I don't even feel tired like I've done anything. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? Well, I've been wanting to watch you make these for years. <laughs>